they are bringing you a portable power station. This guy is 2000 watt. Now, right in the front, we have four output 110 and 15 amp. We have PD on demand 20 watt, 60 watt. We have a quick charge, two quick charge USB, and even two 2.4. Uh, great display to give you a real-time information. I'll show you this uh, right now. So how are we doing everyone? I'm Dario from Media Box ENT. Right, and today we're gonna look over at this great power station, huge 2000 watt. This thing is super cool. So if you're on it, keep this for Pignet, RBs or anything emergency that you need power this guy will do it you can use even solar panels up to 300 watt but before that i need you to subscribe to media box ent by hitting the thing right in the side in notification bell because you just doesn't let you know next time i release another cool video like this one in the next power station so notification all right so this guy we're looking about 2000 watt unit it is super quiet and if we look at right in the front and let me turn it on so we can really see it takes two seconds and it's on now to turn off this light on and off we're going to press one two two tight and this is on let's go to the other side and i'll show you a few things on the display right here so right here it shows me about 97 percent of battery right now we can see that we are about 200 it's using inputs 300 or 269 on input wide that's how much power this thing is being Suck it in to get full charge and the output is zero. I'm not connecting anything right now. The light is on. I can turn it off by pressing here and turn it on and turn it off. You press a few seconds. Here we have a switch for the USB. We're looking at 2.4 quick charge, 60 watt and 20 watt type C. We have a, a 3 amp, a 12 volt output and 8 amp, a 12 volt output cigarette light adapter. Right here in the bottom, we do have a 4, a 15 amp, 2000 watts. So 2000 watts combined to that. All right, if we want to turn on the DC or the USB, right? Because this is cool. You just want to turn on what you need, right? I don't need AC, just turn on only the USB. And we got the cool 5 volt output. And we press right here. And in a second, let me hold it for a few seconds and let it go. And that turns off same thing will be for the 12 volt and 12 volt and output now here we have also the ac so we're going to turn on the ac only turn on if you need it so i just turn it on now the cool thing on this particular unit i see other ones that when you turn the ac on the inverter it will start use energy so it actually will consume power so eventually will run out of battery even if you not plug anything this this guy zero so let me get one of my cool light here all right right away that's going to pick it's going to well right now she's on output white is only zero because i'm just going to straight right now bypass but i'm going to unplug it all right so it's unplugged already so that now we have about 33 or 30 watt this i think this light bulb is a 30 watt light bulb and condenser light and we can see right there okay and if i press right here for a few seconds and let it go comes off now if you're looking right now it's taking zero zero watt so exactly what else we get well one of the things is the benefit on this is it has a cool handle right over here and handle right in the back we're looking 33 kilos we're looking what almost 70 pounds now the nice thing it does have wheels in the back so really you can carry this this way right like a suitcase type all right so with the wheels right in the back we have the power and the connection for the solar panel and also like a thermal switch as well too like a reset switch now right here it has a cool compartment always pretty cool idea keep a compartment for all your cables so here is enough space to put your power core power core is pretty heavy power core then we have the adapter for 12 volts to connect if you want to charge this with your battery it does come the connection with the solar panel and short the instructions right there on the same now this came extra on the box because i guess it will not fit there so we have uh 12 volts you can charge up to like 35 volts so you can use this if you have a battery or something you want to charge a unit and allow you to connect up to 300 watt solar panels so cancel the adapter 
where you can connect here three solar panels two or three up to you know 300 watts that's a cool lot of power to keep this thing a full charge and then just to give you a base idea if you want to run the mini fridge 1.7 cubic feet at 30 watt you're looking at about 68 hours there's an iphone 8 like 300 times you'll be able to charge that a 32 inches tv you will be able to go 28 watt about 73 hours a sub pump right three quarter sub pump at 300 watts you can run that seven hours right so big guy here uh let's imagine uh strip lights the ones i have in the back 50 right 3.7 watts you'll be able to run it almost like 585 hours that's stuff. so this is a great unit so if you look at something you really need a good power 2000 watt so if you have the wrong tooling or you have it for emergency or picnic you have this in an rv or whatever the case will be that you will need that's so much power this is the unit for you and and it's super portable and you're looking like a heavy 2000 2000 watt unit now once again i will leave you the link right below this video so to buy one of these units remember to subscribe to media boxing t by either hit right there on the side and notification bell and next time we're going to release another cool video and another great power station see you next time bye